Hey NetCruiser here, and today we're going to do a tech video about home Wi-Fi routers. Now, for quite a few years I've been running a high-end dual-band wireless N router, the Asus RTN66U. It's a what they call a 900 router, so each band can do 450 megabits per second on the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz spectrum. But this is a couple years old in technology. It's an N router. It was rated the very best in 2013, but we're now in 2017. And it was the best of the time. Four gigabit ports, two USBs, you've got your wireless in, and you have uh, it's full dual band with three with three antennas. Really great router. I really like the design of it. It's nice and slim and compact, and it's done a great job. I've been running this for many, many years. But I find nowadays that it struggles a little bit with in-home game streaming. So if I want to try and do remote play from my PlayStation 4 or my Xbox One, I find that it's, it's causing a lot of disconnects and lag. So I was curious to see if jumping up to an AC router would make a big difference. So I picked up a TP-Link AC2600 AC router and this is running the latest and greatest of AC technology, essentially wireless AC spec 2.0 where it can do MU MIMO, multi-in, multi-out, um, multiple user at the same time. I currently don't have any devices that can do that. Most people do not. There's almost nothing on the market now that actually does use MU MIMO, but it'd be, it's a nice feature to have for, for future compatibility. So from, from me jumping from an N router up to the latest and greatest AC tech, I wanted to do some real world testing and see, is it worth it? The first thing I'm gonna do is I have the N66U hooked up and it's set up for to broadcast out five gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz signals. I'm only going to be testing the five gigahertz spectrum. So some of you may or may not know, but um, wireless AC is only over 5 gigahertz spectrum. So 5 gigahertz gives you more bandwidth, but less penetration. So it doesn't go through as many walls and it won't go as far, but you get a much higher, stronger bandwidth. Wireless N could run in both 2.4 and 5 gigahertz frequencies. If you get an AC router, when you connect to the AC router over 2.4 gigahertz, you're really only going to be running at N and protocol speeds. Um, so to get the full benefit of wireless AC, you have to be running five gigahertz. So that's all I'm gonna be testing, is how much faster is the, is the five gigahertz um, throughput, and is it a stronger signal as well? So we're gonna start out with this N66U, and my phone is currently connected to the five gigahertz network, and I have this app, it's called Wi-Fi Sweet Spots. So the cool thing about this is that you can start it and it will automatically start doing a throughput test. It also beeps at you the whole time. I'm going to turn off the beeper, but you can see as I'm as I'm physically, you know, one foot away from the router, I've got a 243, 250 megabits per second throughput. Now I'm going to start walking away. So I'm going to head head outside the office, and it's going to start to drop. And I'm going to walk down the stairs. And we're going to get some peaks and valleys as that happens. Now I've moved down a floor and we've we've dropped about 50 megabits a second. I'm going to move my phone over to, you know, my TV cabinet area cuz the TV, I like to have the TV TV on 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi as well as the gaming consoles and over 5 gigahertz N it's running it's streaming at 253 megabits per second. That's pretty good actually. Now, we're gonna go to where my dead zone is, which is this back room over here. And you'll see as I enter, as I approach the threshold, it's kept a fairly consistent signal strength. As soon as I walk through here, it's gonna drop like a rock. See that? The walls are very thick in this room and the signal has a hard time getting through. Even though the door is open, when I'm in here, it struggles. So if I approach, as I walk further into this room, we're dropping down to 50, 30, and if I go all the way into the corner, it will, it will probably drop down to nothing. Well, 
Okay, the uh, the new AC router is just booting up. I just wanted to show you from a physically size wise, it's quite a bit larger. I'm not really a fan of that actually, but I do get one more antenna, and it's using a you know five year newer RF Wi-Fi technology. So I'm hoping that that it makes a noticeable improvement. The other thing I want to mention is just about uh, me using my phone for these tests. So the phone is going to be the constant. The phone is, has an AC Wi-Fi uh, radio in it, and I believe it's a 2x2. Two two. So it can't do the MU MIMO, but it can do multi-in, multi-out. Um, and uh, it should theoretically be able to transfer at a higher speed okay, rate. The TP-Link C2600 AC router is now up and running. And again, once again, we're going to do a similar uh, test. So Wi-Fi sweet spots on my phone, about a foot away, just going to start. Wow, almost twice as fast. So we're now tra transferring data at 512 megabits per second, 466. Still, we were at around 250 before. Now we're at 488. I'm just going to start walking away, just outside the office. Now the thing with AC Wi-Fi is it can do beam forming. So as it learns where a device is that's requesting a signal, it'll do whatever magic it does to try and get the signal to it at, at as fast of a rate as possible. So we've walked down the stairs, we dropped down. You see as I was moving, the signal was dropping, and then as soon as I stopped, it jumped back up. All right, so it's a little bit less consistent, but from a static point of view, now I'm over here by the PlayStation. I think that's almost twice as fast. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to twice, twice the bandwidth over AC Wi-Fi. All right, now we're gonna walk over here to the dead zone. I shouldn't call it the dead zone, but it's the, it's the weak area. So we're approaching the threshold of the doorway, transferring it. 400 megabits a second. Now we're going to walk through the doorway and it's going to drop like a rock. Is it we're going to recover? Ooh, it does not recover as well. So we're now in the we're now in the back room and oh, that's kind of support. So you do get faster throughput, but if you you don't get maybe quite as far of reach. And now we're gonna move my phone over here to what I call the dead zone. And we're down to almost nothing. That's essentially an unusable signal. All right, so I'm just back in the office. I've been thinking about uh, my little test here and seeing that the phone Wi-Fi transfer rates can go twice as fast on AC as they can on N, I think it is a worthwhile upgrade if you need to do any kind of high bandwidth in-home streaming. So if you're going to be trying to stream 4K over your home network, or if you're going to be wanting to do specifically the case of in-game streaming over Wi-Fi, you're going to need AC. Okay, I'm going to be doing PlayStation 4 Remote Play, so let me just uh, get that going. Okay, you should be able to see this. I'm uh, I'm gonna go and jump into something like Drive Club, which which is very sensitive to dropped signal and frames. And this is over the AC Wi-Fi. I've got this streaming at high frame rate, 720p. Okay, we're just gonna do a random. I'm going to drive. I'm just gonna do a random event. So this is streaming over my home Wi-Fi network. The PlayStation 4 is connected over 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and my iMac here is directly wired to the router.
As you can see, it's perfectly playable. It actually looks, looks great. Besides it not being full 1080p resolution, it is a very enjoyable experience. Um, and super convenient, too. So I'm not seeing any weird artifacting, I'm not seeing any dropped frames. You know, it looks good. Plays and looks good. All right, so I put in a 155. Was I showed you that the new AC radios can potentially give you twice the theoretical throughput as the old end routers, but in real world practice, unless you're gonna be streaming some ridiculously high quality video or if you're going to be having to do major, huge file transfers over your Wi-Fi network. Um, if you already have a high-end end router, I don't really see a need to upgrade to AC. Even though AC is better, it's the future.